Another comment from my YouTube channel here. Link in the uh, bio to the YouTube channel. Here we have a Nebraska man who has sat down and typed out his college thesis paper about how good Nebraska used to be on a video I made about Big Ten coaches on the hot seat where I talked about the fact that current Nebraska head coach Scott Frost is on the hot seat. He's been there four years, going into his fifth year. He's yet to have a single winning record, yet to make a single bowl game, was 3-9 and nine last year. He's clearly on the hot seat. In fact, there's not a Power 5 coach on a hotter seat right now than Nebraska head coach Scott Frost. But I do appreciate the history lesson on how good and how relevant Nebraska used to be. You know who talks about how good they used to be? Texas, Miami, Tennessee. These are the types of teams in Nebraska that talk about how good they used to be. Why? Because they're not any good today. That's why. On and on about blue blood this and blue blood that. Again, you know who talks about being a blue blood? Teams that aren't any good anymore. You don't see Alabama fans sitting around talking about how they're blue blood. Why? Because they're still good today. No one cares that they were good 50 years ago, 40 years ago, 30 years ago. They're good now. They're good now. Yale has 18, 19, 20, whatever it is, national titles. Does that mean anything today? Sir, this thesis paper that you wrote out in my YouTube comment section about how good Nebraska used to be is no different than somebody who used to work at Radio Shack sitting around talking about how pointless Amazon is.